Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach podcast. I'm Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and this is part two of our conversation with Dr. Rashmi Shetty. Now, please do listen to part one because we talk about understanding beauty and all the things that are related to beauty: skin, hair, and ultimately that little confidence that comes from inside. So, listen to part one and then come and listen to part two. So a friend of mine in fact he had her on the podcast the other day she was mm. talking about I'm trying to use lesser soaps and trying to use more coconut oils as a Cleanser. way of cleaning my body do you think it works mm, it might but not in an urban situation hmm. not in an urban situation maybe you want because to because of chip 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 one is chip then up you know anything you keep earlier days why they would give a bride a bath with uh, sandalwood paste and all of that so that she's fragrant after that hmm. so anything you keep applying the skin tends to take Absorb on the it. smell no right you may not be very nice to a non south indian that's a coconut oil <laughs> yeah yeah it happens all the time with yeah. me as well right? i'm a big coconut oil fan right so like, huh? yeah so interestingly you know we were talking about this glow hmm. right we're saying glow everyone hmm. comes and says i want glow i want glow So in a previous life I was we have a market research company so I used to do lots of market research for beauty glow. products and stuff yeah. like this so one entire study was understanding glow mm. so a room full of Please eight women me also huh? right <laughs> what is glow right so we were we have a discussion on that what do you all do for glow and then they say oh you take papaya and then you take this banana oh. <laughs> and then you take this dahi and then you do this and I was like wait you eat all of this no 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 <laughs> यू पुर ऑन योर फेस कभी कभी खा लेते हैं तो कभी खाते हैं कभी चेहरे पे लगाते हैं सो देयर सो मेनी ऑफ दीज होम रेमेडीज हैक्स ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स दैट एग्जिस्ट व्हाट आर द थिंग्स दैट वर्क व्हाट आर द थिंग्स दैट डोंट वर्क आउट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस व्हाट आर डू यू हैव पेट पीव्स दैट यू हैव या नो नो पेट पीव्स दिस ओनली सो इंस्टाग्राम हैज बिकम अ प्रोफेशनल हैजर्ड हैजर्ड नो व्हाट यू कॉल इट नेसेसिटी फॉर मी ओके अदरवाइज आई'd बी रिक्लूज क्वाइटली and every day i'll keep thinking what to put so my girls one day came and said ma'am you know your uh, likes will increase if you do uh, um what is the home remedies hmm. i'm like well, how will i do home remedies it has to work no <laughs> firstly i'm not a naturopath <laughs> why will i do home remedies just to do this and then they put one like this only question what do you want everyone home remedies does this work does that work i'm like no eat it hmm. it is better for you to eat it so any fruit i know people apply on the face all you may end up getting in a fruit is that little hydration that you may want like you said curd correct okay. little that oil of the curd will make will sit on your face when you have applied it for some time and then you wash it off you feel nice put your face wash and wash that will be gone hmm. so it's best to eat a fruit don't put it on the skin and waste it it don't put it on your head definitely and waste it they put egg on the head hmm. i'm like other than stinking egg shampoo yeah, oh stinking up the bathroom <laughs> egg on the head is not going to help you Hmm. that pro it is a protein no doubt but that's not going to coat your keratin not happening right so no yeah curd when you mix with an egg or lemon when you mix with an egg lemon can give you that little shine because it will kind of cleanse all the oil completely hmm. so it can give you a little shine curd if your hair is dry might give a coat of an oil that might give you a little shine rest of the things are not going to help honey sometimes makes you feel hydrated but you could get allergic to honey correct only garka hack i really love and it really works is one coconut oil <laughs> <laughs> no i have another one. i have another one <laughs> so the other one is sandalwood paste okay so i know it is uh, precious wood now so don't kill me ha i was like how but, do you get it huh? uh, yeah hmm. my mom had one small Little, hidden hmm. bar at the house uh-huh. so you can't get the sandwood powder because then half wood is mixed and half sandwood i don't think it's pure sandwood powder and gets too rough on the face hmm. the olden days what we used to do is we used to have a rough stone hmm. we used to have a wood and then we used to do that you gesso it on it ha and, ah, and then, then paste happens hmm. so that either mum used to say you know use medium of a milk or use medium of tender coconut water and you gesso it hmm. that actually makes um your skin glow wow one because it is a it's a cooling substance mm-hmm. so any inflammation of the skin redness of the skin kind of calms down mm-hmm. if you have acne acne prone skin and oily skin it acts more like a fuller's earth like a calamine lotion which kind of reduces the oil on the face right um if you do have pigmentation that really works don't ask me how mm. but it does So sandwood would it be exfoliating as well because it's it there's a base it won't exfoliate no okay. that's what i said wood powder no hmm. 
you're using the, the wood paste. paste you're just applying like a mask and leaving it okay you can set it if your skin is oily if it is not oily then keep replenishing whatever medium you have used to make it a paste if mm. it is milk you just keep doing milk and keep dabbing it so it's refresh mm. keep it for on for half an hour just wash it off with plain tap water and then just leave it it genuinely works mm. that's how all the brides any culture you will see sandalwood and haldi that's part of it yeah haldi is more as a antiseptic uh, so if you do have any acne or any odor body odor probably this is kind of taking care of all of that mm-hmm. but sandalwood is more towards a lot of skin benefits turmeric also does it's it has skin lightening properties I and mean, what is curcumin today Correct. It's everything of turmeric suddenly yoga and curcumin has become Um, so huge yeah so i was uh, laughing because i remember this influencer on instagram mm. she put tomato on her face mm. not tomato to matlab like a pinch she must have thought would uh, get on the face and full allergic reaction turned <laughs> red turned and and she was like this is why we are not supposed to be putting <laughs> random things on your face That was cute of her to do yeah, that. Yeah. She showed that part yeah, also, so yeah. it was really nice. Yeah. She said, "Don't do Good tomato food. on your yeah, face." Yeah, I'm, I'm allergic to aloe vera. What? Yeah, most people think. So this is one thing you that I want to find out. Are you no, the no, principle of you. this? No, I'll hmm. tell you. So when this whole thing aloe vera happened, hmm. I talked to one of my friends who's actually working for a pharma company, who basically does things out of natural extracts. Correct. So she was telling me there are 400 species of aloe vera. I might have gone a little up and down with the number, hmm. but what I remember is many, 400 many. odd sh- uh, species of aloe vera, and out of which only some six or seven has medicinal properties for skin. Oh! And once you remove that leaf, you open it out within four minutes. Those properties are dead. Hmm. So, to my mind, what are we applying? Correct. Number one. To aloe vera soap, aloe vera this, aloe vera. Will, nothing hmm. will work. And I was allergic to aloe vera, which can happen to any natural. Like you said, tomato. Somebody got allergic to. I'm allergic to aloe vera, which hmm. is supposedly oh my god, medicine for everything. Correct. Anything put aloe vera. Put aloe vera. Right. No, Mix aloe. aloe vera and coconut oil. Have you also, tried that? <laughs> actually, you know what? That might help in hydration. Hmm. It's like mixing. Uh, one thing I'll tell you for hydration: you can mix glycerin with coconut oil. Hmm. Wonderfully hydrates the hair and skin. Glycerin and coconut hmm. oil. You know, cheap thing. You can get bottle of glycerin from anywhere. Correct. Just mix that with coconut oil, hmm. and put it on your hair ends. Gives you an amazingly hydrated hair. Interesting. Mm. Putting oil on wet hair, what happens? It'll, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll not allow the oil to dry. No, it'll act hmm. like a moisture sealant. Correct. So oily hair, and you put things in a little bit. Hmm. We do it. That's a new thing now, right? They've got different different oils, which they say post bath oil, and on wet hair, just use them to scrunch uh, the scalp. So I always found my hair sets nicely with this. That is because wet and coconut. I'll thing. tell you. So there is hair strand, hmm. and then there is something called cuticle on top of it, mm-hmm. which is like a tree bark. Let that let that let that little go. Hmm. The difference between a smooth hair and a rough hair is in a rough hair, all the cuticles are open. Right. Feels rough to touch, and it is like. It is not reflecting light evenly. It's gijji gijji. Correct. So it looks also very frizzy and light and coloured or unhealthy. Hmm. While a darker, cleaner, covered hair looks more shiny, nice, holds water well. Hmm. Also, this loses core water very easily and quickly because it's open. Correct. Hmm. So it kind of frizzes out. While this one loses it very slowly, so it doesn't frizz out. Right. Now, when you put oil, that's exactly what happens. It's like you're sealing the moisture. Hmm. So the the water there slowly gets out. Your hair slowly dries. For the ones who have frizzy hair, the other hack is after washing your hair. How our mamas used to tighten a towel. Hmm. Please tighten a towel. Let that dry out slowly. Right. That's the only magic. How do you dry hair? Like I'm I'm going through this right now because like I my piche ka dry hair means wet forever. Which like is what good. Do- It's supposed to be. It's okay. So hmm. it's, it's your thick hair that huh. means okay. <laughs> you're showing off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you just end up firstly, of course, towel dye your hair, hmm. dry your hair, but not get 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 get. Huh. So you, it's not gentle. like a. No. So firstly, you squeeze your and hair. And do you use microfiber towels and all of them? Do you no, do you no, suggest I all don't. those things? No, no. Okay. I'm South Indian. I use hmm. cotton towel. Okay. So you just squeeze the hair out. Hmm. So it kind of. Gets out of the lots of oil, hmm. lots of air. Hmm. Now I'm at what? Water. Lots of water. <laughs> <laughs> Then you end up putting your towel hmm. very gently. Do that, so you've taken off that excess water. Right. Right. Then you take a fresh towel, which is not as wet, and the thin towel, hmm. which we use muslin or whatever light cotton, which the South Indians use, so Correct. that absorbs water faster. Right. Then you end up tying it 
roll it up put it into a bun hmm. if you have a hair short as yours still hmm. do it and roll the towel only and put it like this so it will sit there interesting so let it just sit there finish your daily chores in the morning whatever you have to do open it up then if you want put couple of drops of oil and just crunch it if you have a you know curly hair or if you have a straight hair just the ends you can end up using a little oil to just do that hmm. and just leave it and let it air dry so that you can detangle them when you actually brush De-tangle, them off detangle no you see the ends look very dry okay because it curled so in so it it curled in hmm. and it always is dry right. even if you have the smoothest hair on top ends are always like a curly hair's hair right so you end up doing that and hmm. just putting a little to tame that hair down hmm. that's it then just allow it to dry if you have to dry like you if you have really thick hair and you have to dry then just dry your scalp which is important so you don't catch a cold or things hmm. like that hmm. with normal um cold air just do this and just do that with your hair dryer so you're just drying that inside part the rest do not dry leave it 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 will dry on its own unless you want to style your hair then that's a different question because so many people are f- afraid of wet hair right i'm just talking to people and say no but you can't do this to wet hair you wet can't do this scalp to- hmm no wet hair they might be saying don't comb correct so they're saying all sorts of things don't Or, comb don't wet it don't do this no, don't no, do no, that no. don't comb because there are two three, two bonds in the hair hmm. sulfur and hydrogen bonds hmm. so the hydrogen bonds are the weakest bonds right. they break even when you make it wet okay so at that time if you're detangling and just yanking it or taking a comb and just yanking it you break your hair hmm. that is all hmm. but if you really conditioned your hair well you've used your fingers and kind of open use a white toothed maybe a wooden comb so that it is not really lots of friction and there's no sharp edges hmm. you can end up doing that nothing will happen nothing but will happen but be gentle with your hair is I, what we're saying i think that's what it is right the yeah. gentleness with gentle. it don't yank it yeah, i've seen people who are so frustrated with their like cut 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 yeah. cut 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 no. cut cut and then oh, i've seen one growing. more thing hmm. they put the hair back take a towel and do put 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 correct no that will just break your hair again hmm. so be gentle with it gentle with it mm, treat it well combing it during having a shower during shower post conditioner yes correct post you, conditioner yeah, post not Haan. put the conditioner allow the conditioner to work on your hair for 5 to 10 minutes so it will start kind of detangling on its own correct then you can use your fingers just open it out with fingers which is much better than using a comb much why better. do you want to use a comb so you don't need to necessarily you don't so you know <clears> in <throat> fact this uh, whole conditioner thing from mm. a market research background again mm. one idea the mm. story came up mm. This was when conditioners are just coming in, mm. right? Earlier on, everyone was two in one, two in one, two in yeah. one. Till then, you started using conditioner. Which I still like, to be honest. On my busy day, it is two, two in, in one, one and run. And <laughs> two in <laughs> one and run. I love it. <laughs> you yeah. phrase we're gonna use. <laughs> so there would be like, hmm. you no know, conditioner se baal tootta hai, which is basically that <clears throat> conditioner se baal nikal jata hai jo toota hua tha. Exactly. Right, because the bonds have changed. Now you're detangling it really well. Correct. And it goes. The other thing, this leads to the next thing that that would be probably pertaining is, they say, oh, I don't have bath because I lose hair. Hmm. So I'm having bath once in a week, and there's this much hair I'm That's losing. Falling. Correct. Obviously, it's falling. Every day, fifty to hundred hair is okay. Hundred and fifty hair is also if if you have a lot of hair, and if you have long hair, obviously you're seeing it down as one big mess, which as against shorter hair may not come up to that much. Correct. So imagine you haven't had your bath for one week and you're so scared now that already you think you have hair fall you're not even combing that hair most of them mm. so you're just tying it very very quietly and coming so all the loose hair is sticking there the day you have hair literally multiply 150 into 7 and that much is falling and then you're panicking and you're causing stress to yourself more will fall correct so no so hair fall has never led to i mean hair wash has never led to hair fall If at all, it'll keep your scalp clean hmm. and well hydrated and healthy, so there is less hair fall. So please wash your hair as long as as often as your scalp needs it. As often as your scalp needs mm. it. Interesting, because like as men, though we don't have, and at no point did we ever think about hair care and things like that, right? So I know so many people who said, "Please, shampoo." Uh, men s- will do anything; they will kill and steal and Once do for hair. Once they start losing it, ha. Once they start yeah, skin, losing it, skin they don't it. care. It is hair. Correct. Yeah. But the problem is only once they lose Sorry, it, exactly. then <laughs> till then it is ah, जो होता है होता है होता है then hair <laughs> goes for a toss. Uh-huh. Actually, this brings me brings me to the next topic, which is aging. You just yeah. came back from an aging yeah. conference, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. What is this obsession with aging? Yeah, I don't know why. You know, I think it's changing. Like for example, my mom at my age looked a certain way 
and she looked beautiful. She'd put on some weight, beautiful. She dressed a certain way. Today, me and my daughter, we pretty much, if she buys something, I'll say they are all on online shoppers, right? Correct. Which we still don't know. I I don't know. You are much younger, I think. So she was looking at it like that, and then every time whatever she buys, I'll say me also, me also. So it's like that. Me too, me too, me too. Keeps happening. <laughs> so we are literally wearing same things, similar styling. So I guess it's the way it has changed. Now I want my face also to look good. Hmm. My body, I'm looking after. I'm working out like a maniac. You do this, you do that. We're all our bodies are still like our teenage selves. Hmm. Like your dad, I'm sure at your age didn't look the way, way you looked. But now we take care of it, not just as a vanity thing, but also health. We are much more aware of the wellness that body brings you. Correct. You know, wellness a fit body brings you. So we're all a certain way. Then we dress a certain way because we can now. Our bodies allow us. Mm. Then where is the focus? So then it comes up to the face, face and head and head basically face right. and hair and neck. Mm. So that's why the focus is being a little more, and which I think is wonderful. Is there an obsession with becoming younger? Is there an obsession with looking your age? Is there an obsession with aging gracefully? Like th- these are technically all three different things together. But you know, um, it all depends on where where you are in your mind and emotion. Like I used to also be, I wouldn't say judgmental, but I would advocate saying, "Be the best of your age. Why should one look younger? You know, you're fifty. You look most beautiful fifty. You know, age erase was one of the book that I had written, which mm. is erase the number." Why do you want your a your face looks beautiful? Period. Nobody is going to say she's so beautiful. How old is she? I don't think people do that. Correct. Right. My God, he's so handsome. How old is he? That is not there. We think it is there. It is not. But then I started meeting. You know, one thing about a dermatologist is you you have become a psychologist mm. and a therapist. So they put their little anesthetic cream and they sit down and so much comes out. Mm. And a lot of. Um, women end up telling me their stories and quite a few of them have their husbands at that age cheating on them right with younger women correct then you want to look younger because you think that is what made him cheat mm. you don't realize he's an ass anyways mm. so you think it's the youth of the other girl or the oldness of you is what is making him do that so you're obsessed about wanting to look young dress young feel young so that is a whole strata which exists correct as much i say that there is a lot of you know aware enlightened group which is i'm happy to look the way i look but i want to keep my that glow that health of the skin still going hmm. the youthfulness of the skin still going i want to look healthy exactly health of the skin and the health is actually where the aging youth, which is good for me correct yeah which and in men i from. think they look at it as vitality hmm. so for them the youth also means i'm still young and man and um, vital and vigor is still vigor, there yeah yeah vigor hmm. is still there vigor is still there so they're looking at that also hmm. so head has to have full hair face has to look nice because i'm still young and happening correct so it that's what i said it's all lot to do with emotion and mind then what translates to the face and therefore what you want right are we not celebrating wisdom it's a strange question in hmm. this conversation because like you know we normally think about but why do you think wisdom should come with age Wisdom typically you would think of you know wise elders. That's why I say why are we thinking that? Because elders is something that we no. always no. So for example, See? like in society, it was always the elders that you would look up to from experience point of view. You may have all the information and knowledge in the world, mm. but you never have as much experience as these people did. Mm. So how are you learning that experience? And the way that I look at it is mm. there is information, mm-hmm. information put together. is uh you know intelligence is intelligence mm. right knowledge knowledge plus experience is wisdom is wisdom so hmm. then wisdom comes from that experience sometimes you may take a long time to gain the experience hmm. sometimes you can take a short while to gain the experience itna hua in my life yeah and hmm. that's what's happening to these kids now lot of times i seek advice from my daughter in a lot of fronts hmm. because they see much more in a certain path than what we have right so to me no more wisdom is related to age i don't think so so it's not necessarily that that no. is the reason why no right no wisdom is not i i i think i know where you're getting to th- this question because in certain professions or in certain things you need to look your age to feel that you know it or you know to look wise correct so many people come and say oh i have a baby face i can't you know people don't take me seriously me you know, i, I remember one 
very very a huge business house lady who's no more now but what a wonderful lady had come to my office mm. 20 years ago mm. very polite lady and then so she ended up talking to me and then at some point she said uh, if you don't mind doc will you call dr shetty i have I have something to do next mm. i'm like i am dr shetty <laughs> <laughs> So she's so, politely talking. Yeah, to she's thinking I'm the junior doctor writing down the history first. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So it yes, you need to look your age to say ah this doctor knows her subject. Hmm. But I guess it's changing now. People are also in fact the other day I was talking to someone and they said oh he is such an old doctor I'm looking at a younger doctor. Hmm. I'm like why why would you say that? They were like he's much more abreast with technology and what's happening latest. Correct. Right, right. Like huh? Yeah. So no, change. So it could be that as well. Yeah. Changing, interesting changing. interesting do you ever come and pe- uh, have people say that i want to you know enhance my age do you want do you, like for example i want my grace mm-hmm. to stand out no. more i want this to happen no. that, that that hasn't no. happened yet okay no. fine no i mean who knows fashion might change, change. and yeah, suddenly we'll have to figure out how graying machines ha huh. give no. them tension yeah <laughs> <laughs> now there are color now no you see young kids making their hair gray correct so, so they, just color they, they, they remove the color hmm. they put peroxide what's your thoughts color? on color Why not? For quality of hair? Why not? It it in fact enhances the quality if you do a darker color. Shut up. How? Yes. Because for example, look at my hair. Hmm. Look at this looking healthy hmm. and look at this looking unhealthy and rough. Hmm. Because this is lighter color. Hmm. Now when you color your hair light, you're ripping off your melanin content in the hair with the peroxide. Right. Which while doing that, it is also drying your hair out. Hmm. So a dry hair is going to look rough. Hmm. and a lighter hair does not absorb that much light as a darker hair so it's scattering light hmm. so that makes it look even more lighter and frizzier interesting so therefore sometimes when people come and they're like crying and they're like my hair is looking so terrible it's rough it's dehydrated it is bad and they have done hajar lightning streaks and whatever they call it they do that then I'll simply go back to your base color get back your black and see your hair will instantly get better then we'll work at it hmm. the health of the hair will work Sometimes you need that instant cosmetic uplift. Then we can keep working your hair. So simply going back to your original hair color which probably is a dark brown or a black will make your hair look healthy. Having said that, um that's why gray hair looks thinner, no? As you gray melanin goes the hair itself each strand gets thinner. Correct. So so, so actually a gray hair is thinner than is a black. Is thinner. Hair. Is thinner than a black. And hair. if I put and if I dye my hair tomorrow gray gray because they're ripping off your color. They're not hmm. putting color. Right. So it is going to get thinner It'll as get they thinner, start rip- ripping it. Interesting. So get a nice darker hair color if yeah. you're actually going to put something. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Because I've seen so many of my friends now saying that no, I'm going to I'm going to embrace my grays. I'm going to embrace my grays and all that is the new. You get frizzy, huh. especially in a city like Bombay where it is so humid. Hmm. The frizz gets even more. I mean, with gray hair. Natural yeah. natural gray hair, not not peroxide gray. Even hair. then it is thinner, no? Hmm. Hmm. So it it'll, it'll get fantastic doctor is there anything else that you would like to discuss you know things that are currently in topics among amongst doctors you go to so many conventions etc mm. around mm. beauty and aesthetics that we haven't touched upon so uh, yeah the biggest thing which is happening now is how there is the mistake is how we are overdoing things mm. that is it whether it is in creams and lotions because you suddenly think you have awareness my mom all her life put pond's cold cream you should see her skin how beautiful it is my dad used coconut oil the skin i still remember dad's skin touching his skin it's like malai it's so beautiful right nice. so we are one we are overdoing things i understand pollution has bet- become worse the sun has become worse stress is there still don't overdo things number one keep it simple mm-hmm. and uh hajar actives that's only screwing the skin up you don't need that what is hajar actives uh, uh, vitamin active C also i want we meant uh, i want serum they get disappointed my patients when i give them four things mm. but you haven't given me vitamin c serum but you haven't given me retinol but you haven't given me hyaluronic acid but you don't need yeah this i got got from my influence yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need you don't need mm. so like that firstly minimalism mm. that is something you should embrace even in skin so care so the conversation amongst doctors happening about this particular yes, aspect so like again i'm just back from the world congress of anti aging which is attended by 15000 doctors across the world it's one of our biggest wow. happens every time in monte carlo i'm on the scientific committee wow. and i usually go as an invited faculty so this time one of my lecture I was talking to you about one which was more ethnic beauty mm-hmm. one of my lecture was the mistakes made by doctors so in that how we should not be doing templates on people's faces 
everybody with a high cheekbone everybody with a long chin everybody with a big lip everybody filled under the eyes it is all looking like caricatures mm. and you must understand these substances just don't go away from your system they stay as much as the doctor says and the brochure says one year one and a half year it stays forever then you start getting water retained puffy so you should be very very careful even on the face one how much and what you do mm-hmm. this is not a place to bargain so please go to a really good doctor three don't fall for templates mm. so that is something you have to remember individual beauty is what is most important for you to maintain which kind of nose you want not to do that yeah you, you everybody need not have a nose like this and like this no mm. so your nose should be beautiful the way it is for you anyway if that's bothering you go to the right doctor to correct it and correct it in stages think before you correct these are things you're injecting into your body correct so be a little wise be a little careful go to a qualified doctor firstly there are so many chain of clinics which which is god knows run by who yeah. so you need to be very very careful of where you're going yeah so you need to know all of these so i think this is the by and large the conversations that are happening to say it's going into an overdrive so calm them down get them to use what isn't really necessary i love it the minim- minim- minimalism minimalism, minimalism yeah. of this is yeah. critical i go to my friends homes mm. and their entire basin is just full, full. of products when he using that no no i bought that about 2 months yeah. ago and i've not finished it but I, then i saw then this, I saw and this, this and this and i got this package, and yeah. da, 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 no, no, da, 35 different shampoos right you don't know what to use it's really I'm funny i'm just telling you each time you pick up a skin care make a habit hmm. open a notes page in your phone and write down how much you spent <laughs> i'm telling you in a month you will see this much you're spending and you will not even use half of them correct so do not do not it's not fashion it's not clothes that you will say acha char extra rakhenge i'll wear it for once it's okay it is not fashion it is not lipstick color that you can buy as many as you want it is skin care which is like a health thing will you buy 100 antibiotics hmm. you don't so treat it as such so you seasonally you can change your skin care you have a concern you can add a skin care but otherwise you need to have one set where either you go to your doctor or simply understand your skin and make yourself a regime just follow that also another thing that i want to tell you is give time for the regime to work mm. sometimes you end up putting up a very beautiful regime you work at it for 15 days and say oh, this is not doing anything are you need time for it to work it's like exercise you Correct. can't just go to the gym for 10 days and get this perfect body right likewise the skin so give it 3 months at least to see the transformation first 15 days you should see that you're going towards good direction hmm. and then you'll achieve what you have to achieve at least minimum you have to give it around 3 months 3 months minimum to get it in place first one or two days you will know if it is not working hmm. so this is your benchmark okay fantastic so don't try and looking for instant fixes it's not going to happen it's going to take its own sweet time like we normally talk about in at least weight loss especially yeah. we say it took you so many years to get to what you are right hmm. now hmm. don't expect it to go away in two weeks right true. so true so you true. have to put in that kind of effort yeah. in it as well yeah. fantastic yeah. i love this conversation thank you so much for coming on the podcast oh, and and you. sharing all of this fantastic I information i just went all over the place i hope it gave some information and it was lovely because we got so many different perspectives on things that we take for granted i think yeah. that was the big thing at least for me to take away from it yeah um where can the listeners find you connect have Insta this conversation it's easy because i answer my own not dm what do you call the other one comments hmm. comment section i answer hmm. myself dms you don't look at uh-huh. Uh-huh. comments i answer myself okay, so that's the best so place so please to... comment on <laughs> on your videos what is your insta handle Dr. Rashmi Shetty. Dr. Rashmi. Dr. Rashmi Shetty. Ra, R A in the end. Hmm. Why Ra? Because Dr. Rashmi Shetty somebody else had taken. So what is Ra? Ra is my name of my clinic. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. So Dr. Shetty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lovely, fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming on, so and I look forward to having you again. I think this was yeah. such an interesting conversation. Yeah. Must yeah. do it. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you.